come on, you know I had to start with that one. The Bulls Menser Sulevich Darts Review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today. In this video, we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Bulls Menser Sulevich darts. Finally got around to reviewing these things. And just so you know, I happened to pick these up at Total Darts Dart Shop located in the UK. However, great, uh, great dart shop. However, if you're located in the United States like I am, you might want to consider Dart Shopper because you can use the FedEx shipping have these darts in your hand in as little as two to three days. Also, you can use the discount code DARTSHOPPER8. That's going to save you 8%. And I think that's the best you're going to get, or the best deal you're going to get on these Menser Sulevich darts, or really anything else for that matter. But speaking of Menser Sulevich, currently ranked 21st in the PDC right now. And he's a little bit on the slide, but man, this guy's been around forever. Phenomenal player. I always have a lot of respect from him because he battled Dartitis in the past, just like I did. And uh, somehow he came out of it to be a world-class player. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's grab the other camera. We'll take a close-up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions. And then, as I always do, I'll take them to the board, throw them for a little bit. And as I'm throwing them, I'll give you some feedback on what I think of the Bulls Menser Sulevich darts. So here we go, guys. going to be a good one. Okay, here we go. Great way to start a Monday morning or, you know, any day for that matter. We've got the Bulls Menser Sulevich darts. And as you see here, it comes in your fairly typical cardboard hand case. However, check this out. What's not typical is it also comes with this kind of a clamshell folding plastic dart holder. I suppose you could put that right in your pocket, carry your darts. I don't know, maybe not something I would use, but Nice addition nonetheless. We got the Bulls logo there. And you know, I guess I'm easy to please, but I love that this company, Bulls, will add a sticker with their darts. I think more companies should do this. I mean, how much does a sticker cost? And we all love stickers. I'll probably put that up on my surround. So yeah, nice to see a sticker. But we've all come here to check out the Menser Sulevich darts and check them out. Very basic, right? Just a multi-ring dart. However, if you take a little bit closer look, you're going to see some micro multi-rings on top of the multi-rings. So yeah, it's going to be a grippy dart. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look and go over some stats and dimensions? Okay, there we go. I think that's a great looking dart. And once again, a professional player using a very basic dart. I keep telling you guys again and again, this is all you need in order to play world-class darts. Forget the fancy coatings, the fancy grips. Just a basic multi-ring dart will do. But as you see here, we've got the bulls polycarbonate medium length stem and we've got the standard size menser sulevich signature flights there but running down some stats and dimensions this is a 90 percent tungsten barrel the barrel length coming in at 50.1 millimeters long and the barrel width right at the widest point right on this multi-ring in the front 6.3 millimeters wide and in case you're curious that tapers down to the back end here right at this final multi-ring 6.0 millimeters wide so a little bit i guess they classify this as a straight barrel but just keep in mind it tapers down ever so slightly to the back end of the barrel now these are advertised as 21 grams and we have one of those rare feet where the darts are in sequential order 21.03 21.04 and 21.05 grams so excellent match weighting there from bulls but what do you say we get a little bit closer look at these awesome barrels Okay, there we go. Nice close-up look at the barrels there. And if you see right here on the nose cone, starting from here all the way up to this ring, and then starting from this ring all the way to the stem, we've got that micro multi-ring grip. And to me, I don't know, I guess it's a lot like the Target Nano Grip. However, the best way I can describe it, it feels kind of like a fingernail file. You can see there, there's a good look at it right there in the back end. Yeah, it just kind of feels like a fingernail file, and it definitely offers a ton of grip. And I guess while we're talking about the grip right now, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a level three and a half grip on a scale of one to five. Now, as far as the only negative thing about these barrels that I don't like, I guess it would be the lip right here where the point meets the barrel. A Little bit big, but could easily be rectified with a specialty point or some Trident 180 nose cones. Get rid of that lip, your flights are gonna last 20 times as long, and you'll probably experience less wild deflections. 
But yeah, there we go. Great set of darts here. You know, for a 21 gram barrel though, they're kind of on the chunky side, although not really. And you know what? They're not drilled out in the back end. Only about 10 or 11 millimeters deep. But we got the Bulls logo, Menser's signature right there. But what do you say we get these things on the board? And I'm going to give them a rip completely stock with this setup. We got the Bulls medium length polycarbonate stems and the Menser Sulevich signature flight. So yeah. Let's get these things on the board and see how they fly. Okay, just had a little warm up with these, probably about five minutes, and you're gonna notice I got some different stems on there. The medium length stems that they come with, they weren't working for me. I was getting, uh, the, the dart was fishtailing through the air, so that didn't work. I happen to have some intermediate length bull stems laying around. Put those on there, the problem fixed itself immediately. Now the darts are tracking dead straight to the board. However, they're not standing up as much as I thought they would, considering I'm using the um, Mentor Sulevich standard size flight. But let's see how this goes on video now. And you know, I think I'm going to have to recant the grip level. If you guys know, I said they were a grip, what do we got, a grip level three and a half, right? I take that back. Now that I've been playing with them now for about five minutes, they just don't feel as grippy to me. They, they're such a clean release coming off the fingertips. I can't, in all honesty, give them a level three and a half grip. And I guess that depends on what your hands are like. If you've got really soft hands, they might feel a little more grippy. However, for me, uh, not so much anymore. You know, I don't grip the dart really tight anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go maybe a uh, grip level three. So. It's hard to get that accurate sometimes, but they're definitely not a level three and a half grip. Like I said, oh, that, uh, that flight is kicking to the right a little bit. I'm going for cover. Oh, 98. But yeah, once again, this is another example of a top professional player. Sulevich has been around forever just using a basic, pretty much straight barrel, multi-ring dart. That's all you need, guys. You really don't need to spend $100 on a set of darts. They're not going to make you play any better. That's, I can almost guarantee that. Cover. Ooh, saved it, saved the average. <laughs> So yeah, pro player dart, Menser Sulevich, ranked 21st. I think probably get these for under $50. So I think that's a reasonable deal, especially with the trend of dart prices getting a little more expensive all the time. But as you see there, I'm looking at the monitor here. They're not really standing all, they're not standing up all that much for me. Oh, I did have to mention, I did lose a dart on the floor because of these silver points. As you know, the 180 Gladiator 3 Plus board, incredibly firm. So I forgot to scuff these up. I've got some sand, paper. I guess you could use that. I got my the Winmore point tool, I guess. Just gonna scuff them up a bit. Scuff the points up. They will definitely stick in the board. But yeah, I lost one on the floor. Not a fan of silver points. Oh, treble five. That requires a cover. Hey, that 19 is bailing me out. Whew, big time. How many turns were that? Was that five? Yeah, I'm gonna quit right there. That was a good turn. I don't want this video to drag on too long. I noticed my videos were getting longer and longer. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but it's summertime or it's coming up on summertime. There's not much else to watch, so I've been making my videos a little bit longer and I've been taking the time to remove a lot of the commercials because I myself, you don't wanna be watching a video and have some commercials pop up. So anyway, trying to help you guys out. And uh, there we go. That was four or five turns with the Bulls Menser Slulovich darts. However, you know how we do guys. One more turn. Hope you enjoy it. A few moments later. All right, I like that one. Oh, my stem was loose on that second dart. Ah. Wow, that one 
been standing up quite a bit. <laughs> oh my god, what a tight group! And the boom shirt made its appearance. Boom! Wow. All jammed in the right hand corner. You know, that's actually an unusual shot for me because Personally, I prefer my first dart to be in the left-hand corner of the bed, and I kind of work my way over from there. So I think that's a rare shot for me, the right corner 180. Great place to end the video, though, and I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Bulls Menser Sulevich darts, Mr. Double 14 himself. Well, anyway, guys, um, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Later.